All right, well, thanks for, uh, for clicking on this video. Either you've accidentally done that or, uh, or you've found the ones that I've done previously um, either helpful or you've enjoyed them for some weird reason. But uh, thanks for doing that. So this is um, carrying on the series painting my <laughs> horde of uh, night goblin archers. Um, and uh, what we got to in the last video um, was painting, they look, they're all about this stage now. They've, uh, we painted their eyes in the first one and then this last one we did like their ropes and bits around their bow and their teeth and, and arrows. And as I was doing it, I noticed that some of the archers had some metal bits on. So um, the, you got like the champion guy, the boss uh, with his sword uh, and these guys have got arrowheads. Um, so I need to do some silver on them. So that's what this we're going to be doing in this uh, this video. So I'll just put this up here. And uh, we'll make a start. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to, first I'm going to um, do a, uh, a dark silver layer um, on, on the sword and on the arrows. Um, to do that, uh, I don't have dark silver. I should probably get some at some point. So I'm going to use an old chain mail um, and some black, bad and black. Um, I'm going to mix those together and then just quickly smash those over these. Um, and then we'll do a second layer. So now my uh, my paint is uh, like gloopy. No, not even gloopy. It's just, I, actually, no, it's got some give to it. I'll give it that. More give than I was expecting. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit more solid than that. There we go. So let's put some on here. Let's uh, get a bit of black. I should wash my brush first, but I'm not going to. Because the paint like, is that thick that it's just going to stick. So I'm going to mix the black together. It's going to be a bit of a darker silver. Yeah, I think it's all, it might be a little bit too light. Let's go and turn a bit more black. It might be a bit too tiny. There we go. Is that enough? You know what? I think it is good enough. Now I would, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of water into that. Make it a bit thinner. If I wasn't planning on doing all these guys in this one video, I'd probably make it even thinner. But that's nah, fine. They don't have much silver on them anyway. Um, so I mean, you know what it looks like painting, painting uh, silver on. I'll just quickly smash through these, paint this on. I kind of feel like it should have been a little bit darker. But there we go. I'm going to just bit down here, silver as well. I need more water. That is definitely too thick. It's not so it's not um, fluid enough for my liking. Um, so when it's starting a streak, yeah, it's loads better. So it's uh, kind of a nice, easy flow to, uh, to push around. Um, so yeah, there we are. Now these guys are painted like to a very basic standard, um, like the brown, for example, I didn't do the other videos for this. It was before I thought about doing videos, but the brown is just Rhinox hide um, uh, over it. And then I used a mix of Rhinox hide and Morn Fang, Morn Fang brown, just to do a quick once over layer. I did that on the bows as well, um, but it's like, Adds a little bit of colour to it, gives it a little bit of depth, but it's barely, barely noticeable. If I hadn't told you, you probably wouldn't notice it, and you probably still don't notice it. Um, but I know it's there. I'm happy about it. It's there. And that's uh, that's how it's going. So let's quickly get these done. <coughs> and then I'll uh, do the highlight there. But yeah, so this, this set of videos really is just a practice set for me to see if it's a good idea to, um, one, uh, see if anybody's interested, and two, actually work out how, what kind of approach to take, you know, uploading videos to YouTube. There's a whole, whole, like, bunch.
bunch of things that um, I wouldn't have known if I hadn't start, put my first one up. So I figured rather than getting a, a nice polished video, I'll just put something up um, and then learn from it as I put it up. So it could be like really rubbish, which arguably these were all pretty, pretty ramshackle rubbish videos. Like my, my phone is just balanced on my, my daylight lamp. So one, I'm using a phone to do the recordings. I don't think that's unprecedented. I think um, phones these days are pretty good. So the video, video quality is all right. The sound, I don't think the sound is that bad. Let me know if you think the sound is rubbish, but it's just my, all I'm doing is just the phone, literally my phone sitting on top of my light um, and using the, the video on my phone um, and the sound uh, is just my phone, my microphone. Um, and I think it sounds all right. And it's just balanced loosely. Like if I <laughs> knock my uh, my lamp, you can see here's, here's my lamp. I'm literally just resting my phone on top of that with it balanced. Like because of the weight of this, it just pulls the, uh, when I balance it on there, when I put my phone on there, it like really pushes that down. So uh, yeah, that's holding it up. Um, and uh, yeah, so really, if I want to do this properly, I should uh, get like a tripod or something. But first, I have to see if, one, if this works, and two, if I'm actually going to carry it on. Now, the question here, so this is the next layer. The question here is, is this enough difference between the layer I've just done and this layer? I'm not entirely convinced it is. I'm just going to put some there, some there, and maybe a bit in the middle. Well, can we see much? Ah, yeah, actually, that is enough of a difference. I'm happy with that. So there we go. So that's the first. First guy done. So this is a nice, very simple. So I'm literally um, just doing edge there, edge there, a bit down the middle. There we go. Looks looks beautiful. Um, so I do that a few times for these boys. Uh, where's my paint? There it is. Maybe a little bit more water in that. This is a bit stodgy. I don't like the stodge. Who, who would? Um, so let's just someone there, someone there, and someone on there. Yeah, looks looks good. Um, now, I don't know. Am I spending too much time on these bits? I don't think so. I mean, like it's literally taking me seconds. So it really depends. When I've got, there are certain elements that I haven't spent much time on at all. So I'm planning, what I'll do after I finish these, I will do a series starting from scratch um, when I do my next unit of spearmen. So there, there's 40, 40 men, men, 40 goblins in my next unit of spearmen. Um, they have a full command. Um, so a boss, standard bearer, musician, um, which I'll paint those up a lot nicer, but I'll show you how I do the cloaks. Now these, I mean, the cloaks, it's super basic. You can tell that it's not really a particularly good paint job on the cloaks. It's just a quick dry brush using this mega brush <laughs> over the top of a black spray. Um, so it's nothing particularly, um, nothing particularly like intricate, um, but for our purposes um, when you're painting a massive unit of goblins and you've got tons and tons to do um, that's all you need really there we go that that looks all right for a sword i think maybe yeah that'll do let's do the back as well um, so i'm just doing basically i'm doing an edge highlight down here um, might as well do it there it's got a bit of a crease there and then i'm just kind of rightly or wrongly giving a bit of a serrated kind of pattern to it. I don't know if you can even see that. I might add a, a bit here and here. There we are. So that's the, uh, it depends on this light. It's a bit funny, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it'll do for for this guy. I'll do the last guy as well. And to be honest, when painting, just experiment with stuff. Um, see what works, see what you like, see what you don't like. And then what you like, do again. What you don't like, don't do again. Can you can even see what I'm doing? 
because I've done that one a little bit differently, just did an edge highlight all the way around all of the edges. And yeah, this light is particularly difficult to see, I think. So there we go. Here's what it is. Concentrating too hard now, I'm talking. But yeah, there we go. So that's that's all I need really for these these kids. Uh, little night goblins. And there we are. So that's uh, that's these guys done. Just a quick little video to show you how I do the the metal. I mean to be honest, probably could have got away. Oh no, you can see there. You can oh that looks pretty janky that one doesn't it in this light the second one looks better than the first one um but yeah can't be bothered to do anything about that Oops. phone there you go first problem with using the phone dropping it i don't know it depends on the light as to how bad it looks but it'll do i'm not going to waste much time on him i've got like so many more to do that it really doesn't matter from a distance he looks fine. <laughs> look, this light really makes that look rubbish. Uh, the second guy's sword looks loads better than the first guy's sword in this light. It actually looks really bad, but it doesn't look that bad in real life. Interesting. All right, well, there we go. That's uh, that's how to, to do some silver. The, the arrow tips look better than that, than that sword. I'm actually disappointed with that sword. But like I say, I'll get over it. I've got far too many goblins to paint to worry that much about him. But yeah, that was... Uh, that was that one came out much better. So there we go. If you want to, uh, if you want to use one as a, a frame of reference, don't do that. <laughs> do that. There we are. And uh, until next time, and we'll. So next, actually, next video is going to be the bases. Um, I will see how much of the bases I can get done. Um, but yeah, I'll talk more about that next time.